Hey everybody, so you wanna know how much money you can make selling your photography as stock photography? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna show you how much money I made in April of 2023. Now guys, sorry about the, uh, this is basically gonna be one continuous take, bugs. Probably not gonna be, you know, not my usual episode. I am actually out sightseeing. So last night I was shooting an episode on astrophotography that you guys are gonna see here and then sometime in the next few months. But I thought since I'm out here, might as well, uh, yeah, might as well film this episode. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about my sales for this past month. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of the best selling images on some of the stock agencies that I use. So this one is a $3 sale. Now I got this one, uh, this $3 sale was on big stock photo and I took this episode, or I took this image while I was filming an episode on how to use Lightroom's intersecting mask feature, which allows me to do some really cool editing. So I'll put a link to that episode right up here somewhere. All right, this next one, this came for 123RF. I got $3.24 for this particular image. Now this giant boulder was actually out of Washington State on, I believe this is Anacortes Island. This next one, Getty Images, $5.04. So I took this when I was up in Napa Valley, came across that famous Napa Valley sign, and I thought, eh, what the heck, let's just take a quick pic of it. And every once in a while, this one sells, but it was the best-selling image on Getty this past month. I know you guys have all seen this one before. Going back to the Hawaiian Islands, we have this image that I took with my drone, this drone panorama, $8.03 on Adobe Stock. And you know what, last night with the drone, I was actually kind of filming this really cool campsite, you know, 360 degree views. Decided to fly my drone out a little bit and I was gonna bring it back over the um, top of the hill that I was on. All of a sudden, my drone's, my drone controller battery just died. Now, luckily I programmed my, my drone to, to rise up, travel back to its, um, its uh, launch site and land itself. So I was able to get my drone back. But now I gotta figure out how I'm going to replace the battery in that expensive remote. Anyhow, back over here. Uh, you've also seen this one before. This is my top selling image. I believe it's my top selling image on Shutterstock. Got another $10 for it. This is from my trip to the US Capitol. All right, guys, now, I also had a video sale on Adobe Stock. So I got $22.40 for this particular video. This is just flying a morning flight over Lake Pleasant here in Arizona. And then the camera or the drone rises up so you can get a reveal of more of the desert landscape. Now I keep saying that I'm gonna be uploading more video, but my gosh, the work, I, I have been on a very tight workload. So uh, yesterday, before I took off on this little trip, I was actually editing some video. I'm up to, let's see where I'm at. I'm up to my episodes in Rome, Italy from two years ago i think it is so i still have a lot of video uploads to go but if you just look 22 dollars and 40 cents that tells you that you really do want to consider video and that's something that i put into the workflow i've been modifying my whole workflow between these trips pre-processing processing of the episode which includes you know uh, image development and uploading i'm including video in that before i start developing the youtube video so i've got a you know, pretty efficient workflow here going okay now let's talk about some of the actual numbers let's get down to the money how much did i make in each one of these different agencies well let's start with pond five or excuse me almany almany zero we're still at zero it's been well over a year since I've sold there. The only reason why I keep uploading is because it's so dang easy. I just drag, drop, walk away. All right, next one. Can Stock Photo is continuing to have, I don't know, like six bad months in a row. One sale, 25 cents. Uh, Dreams Time kind of dropped a little bit there. I had four sales, $1.40. And then we get to Deposit Photo, 13 sales, and at $3.45. All right, big stock photo, 13 sales, $7.75. And then we get to Pond 5. Wait, what? Pond 5 is actually in the top five? Whoa, okay. So Pond 5, I think I've only made like five lifetime sales on Pond 5. This is the kicker. I didn't actually make a sale, but it's still in this list. $10 and, sorry about that. 
bugs out here. Ten dollars and twelve cents. Now this is the really cool thing about it. Uh, this was actually an upgrade license. So somebody in the past bought one of my images on Pond5 and decided that the way how they're going to use it did not fit the license. Now they probably could have gone away with it and nobody would have known. Pond5 could have kept the money, nobody would have known. But no, instead they had good, honest business practices and I got an additional $10.12. I don't know what the image was, but thank you. All right, Getty Images, 33 sales, $21.17. Shutterstock, 61 sales, $25.69. And once again, thank you Adobe Stock for being number one. And thank you to the board of directors at Adobe for continuing to give us respectable commissions. $139 and I got $118.19. So let's talk about those totals for the month of April. Now, if you guys take a look at this chart, you can definitely see over the uh, past seven years, I've had steady growth. This was my best April ever. I had 288 sales and I made $198.71. So that's it. Ah, I tell you what, little gnats out here. That's it. That are that's my sales for this past month. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Now, if you want to support this channel further, check out patreon.com forward slash EWJ. Right now, during this month, I have content from Charleston, South Carolina that's going up. So what I've done is I've opened all the content from Charleston is now open to the public. You don't have to have a a patreon subscription uh, in order to view it so feel free to jump over there check out my additional content just know when the charleston episodes end yeah it's going to go back to its paid tiers but i would really appreciate your support there as well the money i make from patreon goes to, back into this goes back to replacing my equipment because it does take a lot of wear and tear that battery that I have to replace my drone, last time I checked, it was gonna be like $108. So sometimes this hobby's not cheap, but I really do appreciate your guys' support. Thank you for watching. You take care. I'm gonna get back on the trail and see what else I can find out here.